Oh, May we all stand for the pledge, please. <laughs> oh, my God, Mike. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. That's <laughs> cute. Madam Clerk, please call the roll. Nikki Bender. Here. Melinda Cook. Here. Joy Sellers. Here. Kathy Albensee. Here. Patrick Sellers. Here. <laughs> Here we have quorum. Okay. The first order of business is the approval of minutes. I need a motion and a second, please. So moved. Second. Motion by Sellers, second by Bender. Please take a look at the minutes if you haven't already. Are there any questions on minutes? No. Okay. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Aye. Motion carries. Next order of business is approval of bills payable. So motion and second, please. So moved. Thank you. Motion by Benjamin, second by Sellers. Please take a look at the bills payable. I just have one question yes. for uh, Meta. Mm -hmm. Um, what what is this Marshall and Swift? Marshall and Swift is the commercial valuation program. Does the cost in it? We have to renew it every year. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's it's a license fee basically. We're and oh, then they okay. send us updates four times a year. Oh, okay. For, for that price? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. What's, what's the fuel and food fuel? Um. Heather went to class oh, for okay. training, and that was just for reimbursement for her. Is that APEX software? That's our draw program. That's our sketching program. And that's a license fee, too, that we have to update. We bought it last year for the first time, and now the license fee is reduced based on the, since it's just a renewal. As you all can see, we purchased the lock box. That's purchased. Now, let me give you guys, you guys are going to see another $211 on next claim the demands. Here's how it operates. We purchased the box, and then they found us shipping. And then we have to pay for the shipping. OK? OK? So when you guys see national mailboxes again on the next claims and demands for two hundred eleven dollars and fourteen cent, that'll be that'll be the reason why. And I'll explain again okay. at the next meeting. Okay. Thank you. Any more questions on claims and demands? No. Madam Clerk, please call the roll. Bender. Aye. Alton C. Aye. Sellers. Aye. Cook. Yes. Sellers. Aye. Motion passed. Motion passed. Okay. Next order of business is supervisor report. Hold on to your hats. I have a lot of stuff to hand out. Okay? All right. I don't have a hand. This is yours, trustee sellers. This is the information that you requested. Okay, thank you. Okay? I am going to hand out our, uh, first of all, I'll hand out our expenditure to budget report. I'll go this way. Thanks, Mike. I hear Thanks. Do you have okay, I do. Next. You guys to take a look Next, I'm going to hand out our third tax disbursement from the, from the county. So. Thank you. And I don't have And he doesn't. She doesn't have that. If you have enough. Oh, yeah. Do you have enough? Keep, keep going. Yeah. Okay. Otherwise, we can share. Okay. Yeah, I got it. Can okay. you get one more? No, I have. But I don't have enough. Oh, yeah, I got enough. Okay. All right. Wow. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm going to talk a little bit about the TIFF seminar that we had. Mike Phillips, our attorney, did a great job. Oh, great teacher. Teaching about it was, wasn't it? TIFF. So it went over very, very well. Um, the goal is to have uh, someone from the city for the next TIFF training. 
to come and speak to the businesses about um, how to actually apply for the TIF and the process that they go about selecting who gets TIF money. It'll be a pretty interesting one. I'll, I'll, I'll let the board know when that meeting is going to, going to happen. Okay? Let's see what we got here. Ah, we had a proposal request given to us by Forreston State Bank. And I'm going to hand the proposal out so everyone can get a chance to take a look at it. You have one? You got enough otherwise. Oh, no, sure just give them one. I already. <laughs> just take, take it. Take it. Take it. I knew about it, but I didn't get it. I didn't get Um, one of the main things that they are offering us that the other banks aren't offering us is actually online banking. Oh, um, that'd be so good. Oh, with wow. no fees. With no fees yeah. so at all. Cornerstone does that. Right. So. So does yeah. Union Savings. Well, um, yeah, these they, they came to us and they're offering us everything that we're having right now with 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 no fees and 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 nice. no more convenience. Mm -hmm. So just take a look at it and uh, give me your thoughts. Is this the one that's? Oh, then 20? Yeah. Uh, 26? 26, um, yeah. Used to be, what was it? What was it? Kent. Kent Bank. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. The Ultra Citadel uses them. Do they? Yeah. They're nice out there. Um, I like them. Last, what was the day we had the TIF training, Mike? Uh, uh, Monday, August 13th. Yeah. On, on, on the 13th, we had the TIF training, and after that, um, I spoke with the uh, Stevenson County Farm Bureau. Mm -hmm. um, we talked about the Stevens County Township Cooperative, and needless to say, I didn't know that, that the Farm Bureau, um, their bylaws have the support of Township written to their bylaws, so they are in full support of, of, of Townships, so that went over very, very well. Um, did anyone, did everybody receive this in the mail? I did. Huh? Mm -hmm. I didn't. No? I did. Okay, well, question number seven. <clears throat> Which um, has drawn some, some. But English. I didn't look at it because I just threw the right there. Oh, you shouldn't have done that. Okay. Should townships? Yeah, question number yeah, seven. Should there. townships and or township road districts be able to place consolidation questions on the ballot without first providing data that uh, proves the consolidation would create actual savings for the taxpayers? Now, where this came about, McHenry County did a study of the savings or quote, or saying that they think that, that they would get from consolidating or abolishing townships, and it didn't turn out the way a lot of people wanted it to turn out. Um, it's actually going to cost taxpayers more to, 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 to do this. Mm -hmm. So that was McHenry Township. Kenner County. McHenry County. McHenry County. Um, so this question is asking, uh, do people want um, a study done to, to see if it's an actual cost savings to the abolishment or to the consolidation of townships. So that's where, that's what number seven's question is, is uh, was asking. This is some sort of, I did not get this in the mail or I didn't see it. Uh, if you didn't vote Republican in any of the primaries, you probably uh -huh. won't. Okay. Mm -hmm. so yeah, probably I get won't. all of his stuff. Hmm? You do? I get all of his stuff. I do I don't too. Vote Republican. And I've gone back and forth. <laughs> I've gone back and forth too. Yeah. yeah. Um, yeah. You can go online though. There's yes, a, if you go you to you can go uh, online and go through the questionnaire. Yeah, it's at uh, www.rep. Oh, they want you to send it back in. Or no, 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 no. Um, they do want you to send. They want you to send it back in, but you can do it online. Volunteer. Yeah, right. You it's can do strictly it voluntary. Just read the question carefully. Read the question. All those very questions. Read them. Carefully. They're all loaded questions. Are they worded <laughs> really yeah, weird? They're no. very slanted. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. I'm talking about Brian and Mark. Real yeah, This was. This was. This took me a couple times reading through it to understand what he's actually asking. So, but yeah. So, uh, what else? What else? What else? What else? I think that's uh, that's all for me. So next order of business is the uh, assessor's report. The only thing I have to report tonight is that we are finishing up 2018 work and hopefully we'll have it turned over to the county by the end of the month. Good. That was all? That's it. That's okay. It. <laughs> the next order of business is trustees report. Trustees. Nothing. Well, the only thing that I, I wish there was a uh, so all of the trustees could saw, have Don't worry. seen, huh? Oh, I'll give it to them. Oh, okay. Um, because I just think that um, 
looking at the numbers. What are you looking at there? What are you I'm looking about? at what um, what it's costing for the rent of both offices mm -hmm. up there, mm -hmm. and it's uh, fifty-two thousand four hundred and fifty dollars a year. That's a lot of money. So you look at if you're there, how many years? What that? You could buy a building. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yep. Then you look at us um, on this sheet. This is us renting this every, you know, whatever, and that's almost two thousand dollars. So it has, this hasn't been a year yet, though, have it? We haven't been doing this a year yet, have we? Yeah, we. Oh, yeah. Yeah. oh okay. Yeah. I can't remember. Y'all got to help me out. Okay, and then the other thing was renting our storage, mm -hmm. um, where we rent, all, I mean, where we save all the, um, is it files and things mm -hmm. like that? File cabinets. Yeah, and that's, um, you know, almost another $1,500. So when you add all that up, you know, that's, that's a lot of money a year if you look at, you look at it in the law, you know, in the long run mm -hmm. that you can have your building paid off so you don't have that. And then that's not even, is that, you don't, is, utilities and all that other stuff is no. in there, right? Utilities. Mm -hmm. No, we don't. We oh, don't yeah, because we don't do all they that don't stuff, all okay? Right. But it just depends on what building we have. And I'm pretty sure we're not going to spend $52,000 a year in utilities for that. So it was just, to me, just to look. I know we had talked about it um, way back when we were leaving that to, to look. And I don't know if we just got relaxed and just let it go, or is that something that um, just looking at saving some money, that, that's a lot of money to give somebody that's every right. year on their building. Because we're paying off his building. <laughs> that's we're a really good. We're not paying off his bill. We just probably already paid off. But you know, I just that's think. a really good point, Joy, because um, mm -hmm. you figure how much you pay a year, just house payment, property taxes, yeah. homeowners insurance, you know, once you get below a certain mark, you think, wait a minute, I've been doing this for yeah. 10 years now, and this is all the further I am. Yeah. I have a question. Do you, we, do we pay insurance on the contents of, our, of the office? Like renter's insurance or anything, yeah, if something pay, happened? We pay uh, trauma. That's uh, okay. Mm -hmm. that has, uh, so if something was to happen in that building with our stuff, but that's what we pay anyway. So mm -hmm. Right, you know, I understand yeah, that. Yeah, because that's that's, yeah, I thought about that too after yeah. you started bringing it up. I thought, oh, then mm -hmm. you'd have to pay that. But that's through um, them. Okay. I mean, it's just a, a thought that, you know. Okay. Anything else, trustee? Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> I thought she was going to say something. No, I don't. Okay. Okay. Yeah. All righty, so uh, any public comments? Any other things coming for the town? I will entertain a motion to adjourn until September 4th, 2018. September 4th. So September 4th is. Third is Tuesday. Tuesday. It's a Tuesday. It's a Tuesday. Tuesday. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep. It's a Tuesday. Yeah, because Monday's a holiday. Yes. Labor Day. Uh, yeah. We won't be here. I thought that one was time. So I need a second from somebody. Second. Okay. All, all in favor. <laughs> Aye. Aye. Take you a while, Nikki. What you <laughs> I was right. listening to. Meeting adjourned. <laughs>